what do you think of John Jones asking for 30 plus million? That's a great move. I'm actually, frankly, I'm surprised he's waited this long to play his hand at this. And um, he's got brothers in the NFL. He knows what pro athletes get paid. And, and he knows that it's out there that UFC athletes get paid 20% of revenues. Um, and in boxing, it's the fighters who get 80% and the promoters get 20. It's reversed. Yeah. Um, so why, why not? Why not? Why, why wouldn't he? He's a draw and he's coming up. He's fighting in a different weight that he doesn't have to against the scariest, most dangerous guy in the world. He doesn't have to. And that's going to do huge numbers. Um, tell me a, a more intriguing fight that's out there. There is none. No. And, um, and he admits it. He's like, I was young and stupid. Instead of getting more money, I'd let them buy me a Bentley or something after my, after my fight and I'd be happy. Um, so what, those cars all get old. They depreciate in value and so does, you, so does your value as an athlete. And I think he's starting to realize that. So you, you could have made 10, 20 million more and buy yourself so many more Bentley. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Hey, I got a question for you, Arjun. Who changed all that? Who changed all that in boxing that the boxers get 80% not 20? Well, and, who changed money all made. that? Huh? Money made. You got to give money, money made. Money, money made. Money made left. And then uh, De La Hoya was all upset. He's trying to sue Bob Aaron for all those millions of dollars from the pay-per-views. He got nothing. Yep. <laughs> Still upset. I agree. I agree. So and they're going through a class action lawsuit right now, the UFC, is from with former fighters that are trying to get the same classification under the Ali Act. Yeah. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm always up for the fighters. At the end of the day, the fighters are the ones in there. Uh, Eighty to uh, twenty eighty does not seem like a fair shake to me. Right. Um, but it is what it is, right? So, because it ain't Dana Wade getting getting taking a risk of getting his head knocked off. <laughs> well, I'll give it this. Look, he does a great job promoting. Yeah. Um, you know, the, there's a machine behind the UFC that operates and all of that, and. He's done a great job, especially through this pandemic. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of these promotions and promoters have. Um, but do promoters deserve, you know, significantly more than 50% or even 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 less than that? You know, no. uh, I'm still a fighter and I'm on yeah. a contract, so it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you became president, what's the first thing you change? You give fighters 50% or more? Well, it takes a fighter who's walked that path to really appreciate it, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, but then sometimes businesses and corporations are, are a machine of their own and, and, and the, how the machine operates is, is as much profit as you can get, you get. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's just a mechanism of the, of the beast that is, or if, you know, if, 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 if a lot of these promoters, you know, were blood and guts, even though they, 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 they say they are, and, and, and they've been in there. I, I think if you, if you went to the highest levels in the sport, I think it's difficult. I think it's difficult to say John Jones doesn't deserve more than $2 million for a fight. That's ridiculous to me. Yeah. How much? Two. Two million. Two million. Oh, that's their, that's their um, like before the pay-per-view, right? That's yeah. Their, yeah. And, and it, 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 you know, I think that's, I think that's ridiculous to be quite honest with you. So Jerry Tremble. Yeah. Jerry Tremble is a bad motherfucker. Golden boy. That's what they call Atlanta's Jerry Tremble. He hails from Vancouver, British Columbia. 